Hello, Internet. Today you join me by the fire to read Dagon High History. The Fall of the Dagon High. In scarred lands and ruined fields that circle flaming towers high, where cruel and cursed torments yield, the dark of man, the Dagon High. The Prophecies of Zamorak. Until the day that the Zamoraki and Magi were welcomed among the human numbers. The Zamoraki and numbers grew when some moved their order to the city of Verok. These were the Dagon High. The practices of the Dagon High were looked darkly upon by the priests of Saradomen within the walls of Verok, and thus the Dagon High were forced into a hidden war, away from the eyes of the citizens of Verok. Priests of Saradomen were found dead in darkened streets and crumbling houses. Dagonhai were cast into cells and tormented through purification. Verok was torn between the followers of two warring deities, yet the people of Verok did nothing. Until the tower fell. The famed wizard's tower in the south burned for what seemed like an age, and the people of Verok knew they had been misled. They turned upon the Zamorakian mages with murderous intent, and the Dagon High, even with their skills in dark wizardry, were unable to confront such a vengeance-filled assault against their order, supported in full by the priests of Saradomen. The Dagon High were all but decimated. Their numbers were shattered, and they hid themselves in the darkest houses in the most dimly lit of streets within the city. Those that survived the exodus delved deeper into the most evil of arcane magic, intent on exacting retribution upon the priests of Saradomen and the people of Verok. Verok may have fallen if not for the purest of chances. A young guardsman on patrol in the city happened across a dimly lit house in a corner of the city. Sensing something evil in the air, he cautiously peered through one of the small windows and was aghast to see the High Elders of the Dagon High engaged in a sacrificial ritual. Sounding the alarm, the guard called for help, and the Dagon High, knowing they would be slaughtered, fled into the night. The last remaining Dagon High were chased throughout Verok to the great statue of Saradomen himself. Then, they all but disappeared. Nobody knows what happened to them. But some say they were set upon by creatures from the wilderness. Others say that they teleported themselves away to a place of safety. A few claim they saw men disappearing into the earth beneath the statue itself. It was as though the statue of Saradomen had claimed their lives in his name. The Dagonhai never reappeared in Verok, yet the people knew that one day they would return to have their revenge. The end. Thank you for joining me by the fire today. If you have a suggestion on what I should read next, please leave a comment. Have a lovely day.